So, so far, this has been kind of similar stuff that we've been doing. But let's see what happens now when we get given different pieces of information. How can we work out the rest of it? Speed, distance, and time. We can see there's a very clear relationship between all of these, right? What's another way we can understand? I've given you one definition of speed, but what if I want to find the other kind of definitions? In order to find out, for example, in this one here, we want to find the distance of a truck traveling for 15 hours at an average speed of 95 kilometers. Um, before I go into solving this one, right, we're looking at an average speed. Okay. Has anyone ever gone out to the country before? Kind of those parts, yeah? Right? So quite a few of you. You'll see that there's something called an average speed camera, right? And so a normal speed camera, that kind of detects your speed at one point in time, right? But for trucks and things like that, you know, they, instead they say, okay, maybe in one instant you're going a bit over the speed limit. But instead, we're going to track your speed over a longer period of time. So when you think about average speed, right, we're looking at the um, kind of speed if we took the average over that period, rather than just a single instance. But what are we trying to find here? We're trying to find distance, right? And this time, we don't want speed as our answer. We want distance. So how are we going to rearrange that? In order to solve for it, there's a really useful triangle. Have you got an idea, Blake? Before I go, Before I go on, yeah. You just want to give me the answer? OK, give me, give me one sec. I'm going to jump into it for a sec. Right. So here's our triangle that I'm going to draw, and I'll explain it. This triangle helps you determine the relationships between speed, distance, and time. If you want to find one of these variables, so for example, I want to find speed, all you have to do is you draw this triangle, and you cover up the S. And what do you notice about D and T? Well, it looks like a little fraction almost. Yeah, it's like di distance divided by time. What am I trying to find in this case? In this question here? This, yeah? Yeah. Ah, that's pretty cool. Can you see that, right? And, and you can see this in two ways, right? I'm trying to find distance, as Liz said. And if I cover up the top part there, you can see I've got S and T. They're next to each other. So that's implying that I'm multiplying them. You can also see that from this formula over here, right? If you have time and denominator, right, and you want to find what distance is, we can multiply both sides by what's on the bottom. Yeah, Max? It would be like the distance equals the rate yeah. times the time. The, how long I'm doing that for. That's exactly right. The rate times how long I'm doing it for. If you like kind of more formulas and words and things like that, you can remember that as, where should I write this? Maybe over here? Speed, oh, not speed, we're doing distance, aren't we? Distance equals to speed times time. Times time. Okay, so that's one way you can remember that. So here, I'm going to do that over here. So I'm saying now my distance, I'm running out of ink. Right. So the one you cover is when you want to find out? That's exactly right, mate. The one you cover is the one you want to find out. So in this case, we're covering that letter D there, and I'm doing speed times time, right? So that's going to be S times T. What is my speed? That's 95. How long am I doing it for? 15 hours. So let's calculate that. 95 times 15. How much is it? 1,425. There we go. So remember, look at your units. Exactly right, guys. Questions? Not too bad? All right, last one we'll do together. I'll let you try some yourselves, OK? This time, Nick, what am I trying to find? Uh, time. Time. I'm trying to find time, right? Always realize what variable you're looking for. And then we'll go back to our triangle. This time, I'm going to cover my t. But this time, what's the formula that I'm creating? It's a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, Matt, Blake? Distance over speed, right? So. Anytime you're looking for that variable, you just cover it and you say, okay, I'm looking for that. If they're on top of each other, that's kind of like a fraction. So I can write that as a formula as well. I can see that time is equal to distance over speed. Um, rather than remembering this three separate kind of formulas, I find it easier just to remember the triangle and then cover them in that way. Okay. Okay, how go that for me?
time is equal to distance over speed. Uh, for this question, Sky, what is my distance and speed? What am I looking at? Yeah. 15 over 4. And can you calculate that for me, Riley? 3.75. 3.75. Now let's just stop there. What is that? 3.75. What? Well, yeah, put in your calculator. So remember, when we're working, be very careful when working with decimals and time, because we actually looked at a question like this last time, right? When we looked at decimals and something wasn't quite right, we had to do something just to be careful. I can write this in a few ways. I can write this as 3.75 hours. Or, if you get out your calculator, often they'll ask you to write this in terms of hours and minutes. So, if I can rub this off, so you can see what we're doing. Remember I taught you a little trick on our calculators? What was that trick? Yeah, the little bowl buttons, right? So if you do 3.75, and you want to know that in terms of hours and minutes, what you can do is, you can push your little bowl buttons there, whoop, and then what do you get? You get 3 hours and 45 minutes. That's exactly right. So you can also understand it in that way. What questions do we have about that? Yeah. So they're both the same, right? Because think about this, you're saying this is 3.75 hours, or more often than not, they'll ask you to write it in hours and minutes, so that's three hours and 45 minutes. 0.75, you can think of three quarters of an hour, which is 45 minutes. Questions so far? We're good? Not too bad? Yeah. Do you want to have a try yourselves?